Poems Online and we are in Ellesmere Port and this is the Kingston House type. A lovely detached house at Oakley Park by McBride Homes. Now you can see what a beautiful house it's looks. It's got an integral garage there. It's a really nice white render going on there. A bit of brick detailing. Let's go take a look around. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh Welcome to McBride a, Homes. I've had a shoe protector malfunction. Oh look, oh, look at that. Look just how live it is. Welcome to Oakley Park. Yes. By McBride Homes in Ellesmere Port. And this is the Kingston. Three yes, it is, isn't it? So yes. we've come into this entrance hall. I'm actually sitting on the stairs to take this little frame from you. <laughs> yeah, you look stairs in here. It looks like quite a traditional layout as we see it, it now. Okay, let's crack on then. Right, come this way. So, this is the lounge. Four metres forty-six by three metres twenty-three in width. Beautiful sofa. Wow. That's the sort of sofa that you just want to jump on. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's the sofa you'd like, isn't I it? I do. I love that. We've got a really nice big... I like white leather. We've got a big window at the front there as well, looking, yeah. you know. Very nice. I suppose if you've got a traditional three-seater and a two-seater, that yeah. would fit in as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, come and have a look in this big room. Let me push the door to so this is your kitchen, dining, and WC. This feels big, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, for a three bed. Yeah. Right, so your kitchen end, seven meters 16 by three meters 13. In fact, that's the whole thing. Seven 16 is the whole length. Kitchen, dining. Right, let's take a little look then. So beautiful high gloss kitchen, actually. We've got your fridge freezer. So a single oven. Ooh, that's a long door, isn't it? So that's your kind of larder cupboard there. That's space for everything in there. Shelves above, very, very nice. Bank of drawers there below your hob extractor. I like the feel of this kitchen, yeah. actually. It's quite contemporary. Well, it's the appliances in this. Um, beautiful. I mean, I said about the house next door how lovely the artwork was. Those are gorgeous. Mirrored. Right, what else have we got then? So... Plenty of covered space below, and again a standalone washing machine there. Yeah. I didn't see a dishwasher in here. No, maybe there isn't one. Okay then. But at least what? you've got your. Uh, you've got some nice. Look at that. We don't see them very often. USB sockets in the kitchen. Yeah, I was just going to say at least you've got your uh, your cocktail maker there. That, oh, that's yeah. what everybody needs in their yes. kitchen, isn't it? Yes. And again, it says about the granite work surfaces to purchase them, two thousand one hundred and forty mm. pounds. Yes. To be honest, they are absolutely gorgeous, yeah. particularly if you've picked this high gloss kitchen. Very, very nice. So you've got a window there for doing your washing up, French doors there in the dining area. This is very nice too, very contemporary. And then at this end, that's your back door to the back garden, and that's your downstairs WC. It's a very unconventional layout, but I like it. Do you think? I don't yeah. think it's unconventional. No, I mean, the, you know. You see this layout. No, it's just different. No, I mean, it's just uh, the, the, the WC here. Although, yeah. in honesty, we don't usually see a toilet off, off, off the kitchen, do no, we? No, it's usually in the hallway. Yeah. Or it's in a utility, isn't it? Yeah. So, actually, this house doesn't have a separate utility room. It does have a big cupboard there, though, look, full of heaters. Yes. There we go. And then the lounge. So we're back through the lounge and yeah. then we'll take a look upstairs. Sorry, I'm rustling with my shoe protectors. Right, okay then, first floor. So we are to plan, I think if we start this way, we've got bedroom two, which is actually above the, uh, in, in the garage, the integral garage. Yeah, so this is your kind of your guest bedroom, isn't it? Bedroom two. Dimensions. Four meters twenty-one by two meters eighty-three. So that's your uh, cupboard, which actually hides the volume of yeah. the stairs, doesn't it? Good use of space. Very nice. Smaller window there yeah. at the front. Look at the detail in that picture, look. Yeah, they're lovely. The, uh, the artwork that they've got throughout, throughout the show homes is very, very nice. Oh, Steve, look. 
Very nice. Kebab. Yeah, nice room. Bedroom three, absolutely beautiful. So dressed as a little girl's room. Three meters thirty-one by two meters fifty-four. Very, very pretty indeed for a little girl who likes fairies. Bathroom. You get a good size sink, don't you? With it's an ideal standard. You've got a towel rail. Yeah. Everything you need. Yeah. A bath, a loo, and a sink. And a shower too. Or a hand basin, a WC. Yeah. And a bath with an open bath yeah. shower. Yeah. So and there you go. the There's your just where it needs to be. Yeah. Out the way. And it's not taking up space on no. the landing, is it? Yeah. Right. So this is your master bedroom. Why? Ooh, I don't know where to go first. So it actually goes around the corner. Look at that. I mean, I'm just looking outside outside the window here, what the view is, and obviously the building over there, but yeah. by the looks of it, with the developments going on, it looks like they're clearing a lot of this, this ground anyway. Yeah. So you've got a quite a nice view out of there. That building opposite seems to be empty. empty. So yeah. maybe that's going as well, there'll be more housing on there. So they put the TV up there. Which is fine, I think, if you want to sit on your little sofa, but you, you can't see it from the bed, can you? Well, do you want me to have a look? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't sit on that lovely oh, bed. Oh, there you go. Let me have a look. So, the oh. No, unfortunately, unfortunately not. I can right. only see half of it. Okay. Right, the dimensions in here are 5 metres 11 by 3 metres 34. Just so you know, no harm has come to the bed while making this video. You see, this is what he does at home. He sits on the bed after I've made it. <laughs> it's not good. But it, it's alright. So they've got a huge bank of wardrobes. Quite a small bed, I think, for such a big bedroom as well. Quite low as well. So you could fit a much, much bigger bed. I wonder yeah. how many showrooms online viewers have actually been in a show home and tried the bed. Sat on the bed. Yeah. Come yeah. on, let us know. Or let their kids bounce on the bed. Oh yeah. Get <laughs> off that bed. Right. It's got an ensuite as well. Yeah. Oh, do you know, I'm going to have to find, uh, if I had that piece of furniture there, I'd have to find a good corner to put it in. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. I like the, uh, the lovely De Monte handles. Okay, I'm in, I'm, in the, I'm in the en suite. Very nice, three down lighters going on. Um, nicely tiled. Nice in the shower cubes, yeah. though, isn't it? It's only a few, a few inches off the ground there, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Rainfall shower as well, very nice indeed. Ideal standard sanitary wear with a white towel rail as well. Very nice indeed. Uh, the, uh, the dimensions for the ensuite were 2 metres 54 by 1 metre 68. Very good. Show the viewers the beautiful chandelier. That's very, that's very Isn't nice. That pretty? It is. Right. Well, that's the Kingston. The size of that window. <laughs> As you didn't notice that, four panes. It is big, isn't it? Well, what a good house. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. I've been disappointed here with this McBride. No, no. Um, you know. Um, anyway. Viewers, I will put all of this information about the development and this beautiful house type in the box down below, so don't forget to check that out, along with uh, a link back to McBride's website yes. about prices and yeah. availability and how you can come and have a look at this beautiful development. Um, but other than that, we will catch you on our next house. We've got a couple more to see here. And don't forget, leave us a review on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.